Hello there folks, it's John again. Uh, let's see. You see that? That's right. That's right. Uh-huh. That's right. So let's see what we have here, right? <laughs> Classic unboxing. Is that even still uh popular these days on YouTube unboxing videos? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Let's do it anyways. Sorry if the angle isn't perfect. I honestly am too lazy right now to figure all of that out. Typical of Toman. <sighs> There's some solid packaging work. So, first of all, more picks. You can never have enough picks. I think there's supposed to be two in here. Yep, there's the other one. Then, yeah, strings, right off the bat. Elixir, my strings of choice. Right now, I like to use, in general, for seven strings, the 9246 set plus an extra 68 for the low A. So this gives me a relatively even tension, especially the low A, I like it to be a little bit more tense, not so wobbly because I, that typical 10 to 59 set, pretty unusable for my taste. Let's see here. Can you see that? Can you see what that is? Mm-hmm. Let's get that out of the way. Mm-hmm, that's right. Woo! So much packaging again. <laughs> box in the box. This is box inception. Uh, what the? Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Okay. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <sighs> Can you see that? <sighs> Let's handle it with lots of care, lots of love. New Guitar Day is always something very precious. Forget Christmas, forget birthdays. New Guitar Day, that's where it's at. Oh. 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 Wow. Isn't <laughs> Isn't she a beaut? My goodness. At first I wasn't sure about the all red, but man, this is something else. Mmm! Oh, those knobs. Oh yeah, those feel good. Uh, Five-way switch is not as snappy as I personally would like. Let's see if we can get the camera here in order. Ooh! Woohoo! So, woo! Now this needs to be tuned, of course, at first. So... Let's see here. Okay. This jack. Could be a bit snappy in my opinion. For the, this guitar. Cost 800 bucks. So you know what, let's go through... Through some quality control here, of course. So, let's look here. Headstock. Let's go from top to bottom. So it's not locking tuners. I'm a little bit spoiled like right now with locking tuners. Um, so I may change those out. Frets feel fine. Yes, they feel very fine. I like. You can already see the strings are a little bit older, so Definitely got to put the new ones on there. 
Ah, oh, it's still cold. My goodness. Let's see, edges here, the corners. If nothing is dinged, because this is brand new, this is not B-stock, not anything. So I expect perfection. <laughs> not really. I mean, you gotta be reasonable with your price tags. At 1000 bucks and above, you can expect perfection. Below, you gotta be a bit more reasonable with little things, at least. And even lower, you gotta be even more reasonable. Ah, but this looks really fine. This looks really, really fine. So, let's give it a quick tune-up. Okay, being a solo guitar, let's try it out first on a more Ola-ish tone. <laughs> okay, those strings over here definitely need dampening. So, let's see, what do we actually have here? We have volume knob, tone knob, uh, Duncan Solar pickups. I may actually switch those out for active Simon Duncan blackouts. It's actually one of the reasons I went for this guitar instead of a new Ibanez that I was also looking for, because you can, the, the routing here of the pickup slots is actually fitted for Simon Duncan guitars. With the Ibanez I was looking at, it's routed for um, the Marzio pickups and the way these little wings over here where they're bolted on are shaped they're shaped more in a triangular so the routing here of the of the wood is also triangular that's why you can't put any pickup in there some pickups have rectangular wings up here or however you call that mounting mechanism you know what I mean so but yeah um, I may put blackouts in here we got a five-way switch. Ah, I do. I, I guess I gotta save at some points because the whole build quality feels really cool. It's a set neck construction, and it just feels really nice. The neck feels very sturdy. It's not quite as thin as Ibanez necks, but it's also not too thick, so it's a good middle ground. And in order to get the whole the overall build quality really well of the guitar. I guess they need to save up on little things like here, the pickup switch and the input jack and also the tuners. But okay, these are things that can be upgraded. You can't upgrade your fretwork just like that. Okay, so stuff like this, the whole construction needs to be good. And this seems to be quite in order. So let me give it a good setup and then we'll come back. Okay, here we are back again after the setup, and man, does it set up well. The strings can go so low, no other of my guitars can go so low, and you don't have any notes dying out, even when bending. It's awesome. It's really awesome. Let's give it a twirl. I don't even know what I want to play, I'm just chugging along right now. Okay, that's fine and all, that's still on the Ola Escatone. Let's go to my go-to Barky Spitty Tone.
Oh, man. Ah! My goodness, this feels great. Okay, um, yeah, I still suck. Oh yeah, now I remember I haven't set the pickup height yet. Hmm. Okay, still gotta do that, I suppose. Yeah, wow. Wow, now that, that is a guitar. Let's check out some cleans. So that bridge pickup is, uh, yeah. That bridge pickup is definitely quite high output. No, no, not really. All I mentioned that these pickups are actually not that high output, it's just pretty high against the strings. Let's check out second position. Okay, third. Four. Uh, definitely losing volume there and it's pretty sparkly so let's turn down the treble turn up the mids and let's check out the neck Wow, this guitar is fun. This guitar is loads of fun. And it's kind of interesting how things change. Hang on. Now you can see me again in all of my morning glory. Although now it's already, yeah, 2.30. <laughs> As I said, it's kind of interesting how times changed. Um, if you remember my old Schecter Blackjack, that was 20x.5 in scale. And I tuned it to drop a flat. And the low A flat was, I think, a 62 or 64 gauge string. Now this is also 26.5 and I tune it to A and I'm using a 68. And man, it roars. Ooh, I like this. Wow. I may actually hold on switching to the blackout because this just sounds really good. I did not expect this for my barky tones to sound even better with these with this guitar and with these pickups. It, it sounds a little bit more defined, a bit clearer, a bit cleaner. The Ibanez is definitely, I don't know if you can see it, there it is, right behind my head. 
Ibanez is definitely a bit dirtier and smudgier in some ways, which makes it sound great on open notes, but on other things mm, it has its deficiencies, but this one is kind of giving it that counterbalance. Well, I'm not regretting this purchase. Okay, that's it again for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you next time.